Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg, and welcome to Repitch, which sets a new standard in vocal tuning software by combining the best of everything we've seen out there, along with Synchro Arts, fantastic sounding algorithms, and DSP. Now, I'm going to start by playing you a little vocal phrase, unprocessed. So it sounds okay, but it needs some work. And I'm going to start by calling up the ARA version of Repitch. Just a footnote, I'm running in Logic Pro and I need to run in Rosetta mode for this to work in ARA. So with that done, we can see here that there's a little red exclamation mark indicating that there's no data yet. And I'm going to choose a macro to start with. And I'm going to go under vocal, high pitch, snap all to note centers at 100%. So I'm gonna hit play and it'll analyze the audio and start by snapping everything to the center of the intended pitch. You will inevitably be my, my okay, so there it is. And let's look again and it's gonna make this a bit bigger, it's a resizable interface. You will inevitably be my, my, my. Okay, so it sounds okay, but it's still not right. And the reason is, is that it's detected the key and scale to be A major pentatonic. We can set it to any other scale that is necessary, but I think it's correctly identified it. And it's snapping it to note centers, but not necessarily notes that conform to that scale. If we look closely, we'll see that not all of the notes are snapping to notes that conform to A pentatonic, like this note over here, we can see in the pitch grid is an F. So I'm going to start by changing the macro and see if that gets us closer. Under vocal, high pitch, snap all to scale note centers. So let's do that. And it's asked me if I want to undo any changes that I might have done manually, and I haven't done any yet, but I'm clicking yes, and it's recalculating it. And there it is. And now it's snapping to F sharp over here and E over here. Now a little bit of word about navigation and these macros. So there are a bunch of preset macros that ship with the program or the plugin rather, but we can create our own by opening the settings here and adjusting the different pitch ranges, snap values. You can maybe snap instead of 100% to the note center, you want to preserve some of the natural tuning and maybe go to a lower amount, for example, and shift formats. You can save all that as a user macro setting in case the factory ones aren't good starting points for you. And we can navigate around using command and option. That'll get a magnifying tool, which will zoom in all directions, like we see in a lot of other popular pitch correction software. And there's also a scroll bar at the bottom we can use to move around there and we can even drag the handles at the end to do some zooming. And we have scroll bars here with different hotspots and we get different magnifiers and scrolling options here, here, and here. So let's listen and see where we're at now. Great, so right away the first word kind of starts flat a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just zoom a little bit in so we can get a bigger view here. We have different hotspots when we select these pitch blocks. And at the top here, I can adjust the modulation. And that should help. Let's listen to that. So we see the original pitch trace here in the background. This is the current pitch and the yellow are the pitch transitions. You will be my, my, my. Okay, so there again, we might want to edit some of the modulation so the note doesn't stray as wide. And I'll do the same thing here on this pitch block. There we go. And let's listen. I'm going to just play from bit four. My, my, my. Okay, same thing here. So these are easy fixes to do with the modulation like that. My angel, like a northern star. Same thing here. Now, I'm going to show you some more hotspots. I'll correct that. And you'll see that, for example, here, the end of the pitch is higher than it is at the beginning. And maybe I want to anchor the pitch correction to this part over here. It's not a dramatic difference, but just to show you how this function works, we can hold down Option or Alt 
and tilt it so that it centers with one end or the other. In this case, this end, and I can do the same thing in reverse. So that should help there. And here, I think I'm gonna straighten out this modulation as well. And let's listen and see where we're at now. Guide my dream. Okay, let's listen to the whole phrase. Okay, so here, same thing. So these are relatively simple fixes. Let me show you some of the tools. Now, for example, let's listen to, or look and listen to this note here. My, my. Let's say, now this isn't the case with this note, but let's say I needed to split that into two separate pitches. We have a variety of tools over here and they're all easily selectable by single digit key commands. And I can choose S to split it. I'm just gonna choose S and click there and I've now split it into two pitch blocks and I'm going to hit S again and it reverts back to the selector tool. And if I want to join them up, I can make a selection. We've got right click contextual menu items and I'll just join them back up and there we go. Now we've also got a draw tool that's really useful here. Like for example, let's say I'm going to zoom in here. I'm holding my modifiers. Maybe I want to redraw that so we don't have the dip there. I can just do it like that. And of course it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. There's a bit of a natural drop and I wanna preserve that. And let's hit D again. And now I'm back to my selector tool and we'll back up and listen to that. So again, just a very subtle thing, but it'll help smooth any rough edges. There we go, in ordinary, maybe I'll redraw some of that as well. There's pretty big fluctuation there. So I'm gonna hit D. And let's see what that sounds like. My angel, like a northern star. And so on. So let me just zoom back out. And we've also got the ability here to switch to a level display so we can adjust level as well. And there's integration with vocal line ultra so we can work on multiple tracks make changes and they're applied to the other tracks we've got formant shifting available on a selection basis and we've got the ability to tune notes manually with this tool if you want to work a little less automatically you can go to no pre-processing manual editing just select your notes and then use this and tune each note as needed so let's end off by listening to this whole phrase And all this is just scratching the surface with repitch. To learn more, check out synchroarts.com. This is Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert.